Hey kids, in this episode of Trasher Treasure Deep Rock Galactic Edition, I'm going to be starting the series out by examining the overclocks of my favorite class's first primary weapon, Scout's Deep Core GK2 Assault Rifle. This weapon has a total of seven overclocks, three clean, two balanced, and two unstable. We'll begin with the clean overclocks. Compact ammo provides a mild benefit in the form of a sizable plus 5 to the magazine capacity. That's a 16% increase over base and an 11% increase over the already upgraded capacity. Perfect for when you want to shoot more without stopping. It also offers a 30% reduction in recoil. This could be beneficial if you struggle to control the recoil of the GK2, or when shooting targets at range. But this is generally a very minor benefit for those with experience in FPS games. This overclock has no downsides, being a clean, so I don't think there's any way I could call it trash, but it also provides a very minimal benefit. Verdict? Treasure. Gas rerouting increases the GK2's rate of fire by one round per second, from a base of 8 to 9. This is a nice boost to DPS, and stacks well with the GK2's innate rate of fire modifications at tiers 1 and 5. This overclock also offers a 16% reduction to reload time. This is minor, only shaving off 0.3 seconds from the base reload from 1.8 to 1.5, and reducing it to a further 1.1 seconds if bringing the tier 1C reload time mod. However, it helps to compensate for the fact that you will be emptying your magazine more often thanks to the higher rate of fire, creating a well-rounded overclock. Verdict? Treasure. Homebrew powder is classed a bit misleadingly. The overclock introduces RNG into your damage per shot, causing the weapon to roll for a damage value between 80% and 140% of the base value. This means that it can do a minimum of 12.6 damage and a maximum of 22.4. Theoretically, this should average out to a simple 10% increase in damage output, but it's obviously not that consistent. Also very importantly, this overclock may cause the damage to roll low enough that you could fail to one-shot a Glyphid Swarmer. A very important breakpoint. Bringing the tier 2A damage mod removes this possibility, but also loses you 120 rounds of ammunition. In any case, the fact that this overclock does have a measurable downside means that it should be classed as a balanced overclock. Nevertheless, it is a lackluster, at best, clean overclock. Verdict? Trash. Moving into the balanced overclocks, we have two to evaluate. Overclocked firing mechanism offers the benefit of a massive three additional rounds per second, boosting the base rate of fire to 11 rounds per second. This can achieve a maximum of 14 rounds per second if you should choose to bring the tier 1B and 5B rate of fire upgrades as well. The downside is that the recoil of the weapon is doubled, making it harder to control and effectively limiting the range. However, this is a downside that can be compensated for with skill, as well as the tier 3A recoil mod, completely negating the downside. This is a fantastic overclock if you are looking for close range DPS, and turns the GK2 into a carbine that can obliterate enemies in close quarters combat. Verdict? treasure. Bullets of Mercy offers a 50% damage bonus to enemies suffering any debuff. This means any enemy that is on fire, electrified, poisoned, stunned, or frozen will be taking 24 damage per shot instead of 16. The downside to the silver clock is a reduction in magazine capacity of 40% from 30 to 18, or 40 to 24 with the tier 3B magazine mod. With a downside this relatively minor, Bullets of Mercy is an overclock that is well worth bringing in any scenario, but especially pairs well with teammates that can inflict status effects, particularly Driller. 
It also pairs very well with Cryo Mindlets on the Zukovs or the Bolt Shark with a number of configurations while on your own, making this an overclock well worth learning to use. Verdict? Treasure. Lastly, we have our two unstable overclocks, which offer wildly differing playstyles. AI Stability Engine completely removes spread and recoil from the weapon, turning the GK2 into a hyper-accurate, fully automatic designated marksman rifle. Additionally, it adds an additional 50% to the weapon's weak point damage bonus. This takes the base up to 50%, and with the Tier 4A crit mod, this is increased to a further 70%. All of this comes with the downsides of minus 1 damage per shot, reducing the damage from 16 to 15, and a reduction in base rate of fire by 2, from 8 to 6. The latter downside is more significant, as the rate of fire reduction brings the DPS of the weapon down significantly. However, 15 damage per shot is still plenty to one-shot swarmers, which is important, and the weak point damage bonus more than makes up for the damage and rate of fire penalties in the hands of a skilled marksman. This is an overclock that heavily rewards skillful aim, but it also helps to make that aim easier to stay on target. Any team can be made better with an AI stability scout. Verdict? Treasure. Electrifying Reload is a complex overclock. Hitting an enemy leaves an electric pellet, with three potential damage each stacking. Upon reloading, all of these pellets detonate, dealing damage. This also inflicts the electrified debuff, averaging 22.5 damage per second for 6 seconds, which of course averages out to 135 additional damage. This debuff has the added benefit of slowing enemies by 80%. This is obviously highly effective, but it comes with the downsides of minus 10 to the magazine capacity, as well as a reduction in total ammo capacity of minus 60. These downsides seem significant, but this is actually a crowd control overclock. 135 damage plus the initial 16 of the shot and the 3 damage from the initial detonation is more than enough to kill a grunt and does nearly enough damage to kill a slasher. It will virtually incapacitate any enemy electrified thanks to the slow debuff, and is capable of triggering both the Zukov's Tier 5A damage bonus to electrified enemies, and the Bolt Shark's Tier 5B damage bonus and homing shot on electrified enemies. This is a true unstable overclock. You have to consider it heavily and modify your playstyle accordingly in order to make effective use of it. But an effective use it does have greatly so. Verdict? Treasure. To summarize, Scout's Deepcore GK2 has seven overclocks. Fortunately for the weapon, six out of these seven are a treasure to have and use. The one outlier, Homebrew Powder, is not unusably bad by any means, but may be more trouble than it's worth. In any circumstance, the GK2 is a viable weapon that favors accuracy and careful aim for weak point hits with a primary focus on single target damage that can be augmented for effective crowd control with the right build. A pleasure to use, the Deepcore GK2 and its overclocks are a true treasure. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please note that I plan on continuing this series for the other 23 weapons and 141 overclocks in DRG as of the time of this video. There's plenty more to come, and consider subscribing if you want to see more. I hope you have a fantastic day. Rock and Stone.